Hello everyone, this is user1 and I'm a probationary officer, yay, woo, yay, I'm in the police, nice, now let me just duty real quick, so this is my off duty skin and this is my on duty, I just need to grab some stuff so I can grab a legal, remote this quest device, coffee, why not, handcuffs, nightsticks, spray can, you know, you need everything these days, okay, looks good, let's spawn, boom, R cool little uniform in MTA. Okay, I'm coming. I am doing an FTO patrol with uh, this guy. He doesn't hear me speak right now. He only hears me speak when I press a button because we're on team speak. But yeah, you're gonna see how different it is to roleplay a cop in um, MTA basically. I would say this is the best server in MTA for roleplay. Alright, so what we'll do is um I assume you don't have your bind set up for whispers yet. Oh, I don't think I do actually. Oh, if, if you do, that's good. If you don't, then I'll just handle the whispers and you can just handle the uh, typed uh, radio calls. Uh, sounds so, good. Uh, yeah. Alright. So, yeah. Oh, then uh, if you click on your dispatch device, just uh, set yourself to on duty call sign A 60 available availability 10 8. Uh, what was the call sign? Uh, A 60. So, Adam 60. Okay, and uh, availability on duty? Uh, yeah, availability will be 10 8, which would mean you're available for calls. Okay. So, uh, how okay. familiar are you with, how familiar are you with, uh, police procedure and stuff like that? Like, have you ever been to any, uh, uh, police departments on, uh, other roleplay servers, or is it the first time? So, I was on, um, Owl Gaming's, uh, basically PD, and this is my reinstallment character. Uh -huh. But I was, like, uh, two years ago, basically. <laughs> and, uh, ah, okay. And I, be between that, I was on, uh, LSRP. Alright. Yeah. Alright, so right now we have a uh, targeted community policing uh, uh, act thing in effect in Idlewood and, uh, and a few other districts. So basically that means we're going to, in those districts, want to like interact with the civilians more and get them to uh, like us and, uh, and be like very helping because uh, there's been a lot of shit going down in those areas. And we have a gang injunction in El Corona because there's been a lot of officer-involved shootings and stuff. Though, uh, I don't think we're going to be going into El Corona today because I don't want to get shot, but, uh... If we ever go into El Corona and we see anyone who's affiliated with a gang, we can, uh, stop them and frisk them, see if they have any weapons on them and stuff, so... Okay. I actually got shot right. and killed on my first day. Oh, yeah. I, uh, I got almost shot and killed on my first day as Proby. I got shot in the face, and if you do my slash look, I still have a scar from it. Oh, cool. I have a, a shoulder wound. That's what. That's how I RP'd it. Oh, yeah. Because I guess my uh, the bullet hit my head, like, script-wise, but I just, uh, the admin said I could roleplay it. It's, like, not my head. Yeah. That's how all uh, PD officers do it. <laughs> they just survive gunshot wounds. <laughs> this is, yeah. Ah, uh, seatbelt. Okay, no, not all of them. I'm gonna try to roleplay this as realistically as possible. Thing is, the vehicles have different acceleration tweaked, so this car is actually like... I just, I'm just tapping the battle button gently and it's still like really, really active and stuff. Also, if you're not familiar with any of the uh, 
or if you don't remember the um, 10 codes we use, if you go in your F3 and to go to notes it, and scroll down, it lists all the 10 codes and what they mean and the statuses and the, uh, like, what yeah. code 3 means, code 4 means, and all that. Yeah, I remember those, thank you. Alright. Uh, take us over to Seville. Let's see what's in Seville. Seville, uh... Then... That is right next to the stadium. Okay. So... Yeah, okay, I understand. Yeah, two, two. yeah, basically we're heading right for it now. I got this thing on the right. If you can see. The thing is, uh... I, I basically bound W to... Uh... If we see that guy with blue headlights again, we might want to pull him over because those are technically illegal. Okay. Blue headlights illegal. Got it. Right. The law is really complicated. I just looked through it and it's like way more complicated than on some people. There's someone driving recklessly behind us. If he, uh, point to the right, and, uh, if he comes, if he blows a busy, if he blows a stop sign or, uh, crosses the line, uh, we'll pull him over. Okay. Turn to the right here. He's, he's, like, gone. Oh, the... oh there he is. Follow him for a little while. Oh, my bad. <laughs> GG. Alright. Doc there. Probably knows we're behind him. Ooh, this is getting interesting. I'm trying to spam W too much because it's bound to a command, and if I spam commands, you get kicked. I, <laughs> I thought it would be more convenient if I bound uh, stop a name to W, but it didn't make it more convenient. Because I have to click. Uh, All right. Let's see. Cross the line once. Let's uh, keep going. If he does it one more time, we'll pull him over. Ask him if he's been drinking or anything, and give him a ticket for failure to maintain lanes. Yeah. Okay. Just, yeah, he crossed the line again. Let's pull him over. Uh, and then hit end for your sirens. Are they on? Uh, no. Just the strobes. I'm pressing here, nothing happens. Uh, go left. He's doing his channels. Hold on. Yeah. <sighs> He's comms. Can we get some 10 12 to our position? We're currently following a red sports car of some kind. He's not stopping to our lights and uh, he's uh, driving around uh, 80 kilometers an hour in the sewers. Back up a little bit, and then just like angle your vehicle, uh, uh like like he's parked basically like that. <sighs> Hold on. Alright. Uh, do you have an MDC account? Uh, I'm not so sure actually. I don't. Know. Yeah, let's see. Probably not because I'm professional. Yeah. H. Two, five, six, four. Plates. Uh. <sighs> Ten twenty two last transmission. Looks like he's 
defending until he's on. Pretty useful. Pretty fun to play like this. <laughs> Obviously more user friendly than uh, LSRP, but if you want to... <laughs> I guess you just might feel funny. Okay, I guess uh, I guess they're just gonna talk it out. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> not too exciting. You don't get into shootouts every every once in a while, like you do in LSRP. But you know, there's some involvement involved in LSRP as well. But yeah, because it's a smaller community, you, know, you get. Everyone is a friend to each other. <laughs> uh, there's uh, like uh, you pretty much know everyone uh, a weekend, <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> Should I correct him? Don't cross. Why is he typing like that? Oh, I want to correct him, but he's like a sergeant. I'm so sure if I should correct him because he might, you know, give me a lower grade subconsciously because of that. I believe they uh, hit me as well. Hmm. Should we just let them go? to let them go. Whoa, where did he go? <laughs> where did they go? I assume they got defeated. I didn't know this car was this good. Wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, what's up, Jay from Maddox? <laughs> God damn, this, this car is really good. <laughs> when you push down the clutch and stuff. <laughs> Much easier to catch up with people than on LSRP because every single like car is modified in performance to match its real life counterpart. So this is a George Charger Plus, so that's why I was able to <laughs> pull off this cool move. And this is a 99 Suzuki. So yeah. Even though the um, vehicle model is much more superior than mine, the actual like roleplay vehicle model is not so I should be able to catch up to them even if they run. So uh let's uh 